Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to transpose Excel data. I will show you how to transpose data from row to column, transpose data from column to row. I can show you the demo. Here we have a data, employee ID, state code and full name. And I am going to transpose this data now and this data will be now written to the seat to seat this seat right let me run this so first i'm going to show you the demo and then after that i will show you how to transpose that and i will show you the very easy way to do that let me run that and you'll see here now transpose successfully you can see now data is available here so this is now showing in the row wise this is column so now it has the transpose completed for column to row now right now i'm going to show you how to do these things and after that once you see this video you will able to transpose data from row to column and also column to row so watch this video till the end this is the excel data right now our requirement is to transpose this one so what manual step we do here in the excel let me show you we so this is the data we select all right whatever data we have now we copy this right and then we go to the any specific range like let's say i want to uh, transpose this data here in the c2 so i will click on this c2 and i will click on this a1 column and then I will right click on that and then click on transpose so automatically it will transpose the data from column to row now if I want to again transpose this column data this row data to column so I will copy this one go to seed 3 and just click on this right click and transpose so by this way we can transpose vice versa we can transpose from column to row row to column so this is the manual step now same thing now i am going to show you in our code okay so let me delete this and let me delete this and we have this data so first step what you need to do open any excel in your system go to file click on options click on trust center then trust center settings go to macro settings and then make sure that you have this trust access should be checked now click ok if this is checked click ok if it is not checked then check that and click ok now we are going to follow next step the second step is open one notepad file and here we are going to write code to transpose that first now let's relate all the manual step here let me first put a comment so this will show that i am going to uh, transpose data excel data vice versa and now here we'll start writing code so sub and then we'll write the method name the entry method name that is sub transpose and sub now in between we'll write our code so now see here first we come to this let's say we are by default the, it is showing seat 3 but our data is available in on seat 1 so first we will write here seat 1 because i want data from seat 1 dot activate it means i am going to click on so let's say we are here so first i want data from seat 1 so i will first activate this seat it means i will click on that so automatically this seat will be activated it means in the vva language we are going to activate that seat 1 so seat 1 activate now seat 1 so now we are going to find where we have the data so we have data available on a1 column to c 11 right now i'm not going to pass any 
default value like i'm not going to pass any hard coded value because let's say currently we have a1 to c11 but might be sometime we can have a, a c21 also right so i'm going to put here dynamic something so that it can take automatically data so we'll go here and we'll write c21 dot used range used range means how many data we have used how many range we have used so this is the range that we have used it means a1 to a1 to c11 this range we have used so in the vva language we say as a used range dot we'll say select so we'll like this is the range so we are going to select all now next what manual step we do then we press control c we copy this right so for that we'll write here we have already selected so we'll write here selection it means whatever we have selected only we are going to copy so selection dot copy right now here we have copied the data now after that our manual step is to go to c2 and then apply the paste special and then transpose that right because we are going to right click click on this it means select a1 and then paste special and then we click on transpose so now again we are going to c2 now so we will write now same thing c2 dot activate because now i want data on the c2 the transpose data i want on the c2 if you if you want to write on any other seat or like same seat so there is no need to activate because you are already on the seat one because you have activated here if you want on the same so no problem you can just write from here if you want on another another seat so now you need to activate that so c2 dot activate now where you want to write that transpose data if you want to write here from here or here so let's say i'm going to write on a1 column so i'll write here seat 2 dot range in the open close bracket double quotation a1 okay c2 dot range 1 range a1 dot select select means we are going to click on that here so click so we clicked on this a1 column it means we have selected this so in the vba language we will write c2 dot range a1 dot select and now after that we will write here selection dot so whatever we have selected here here then now we are going to apply paste special so we'll write here selection dot paste special right now space so in the paste special what option we are get, getting here you can see paste options so what option we are getting that is transpose so paste special now space transpose we'll write here transpose and then we'll write here colon equals to so this is the way to pass our value to the uh, transpose option so transpose equals to if you want to transpose will write here true so this is our code to transpose the data now we'll save this one and we'll write here transpose vba transpose and we'll save that okay so this is the vba code we need to write to transpose vice versa and the same code will work to transpose from row to column and from column to row now let me go here and now delete this now in ui path studio what you need to do you need to write here excel application scope excel application scope click on that excel uh, that folder option select your excel file now right side you can uncheck this, this is not required create if not right you can uncheck this visible option also and now we'll take here invoke vva code we'll take here invoke vva 
and we'll click on this and select our VVA code that is VVA transpose right now we need to enter that method name so our method name is this one this is our method name the entry method now right here that and then run this so once we'll run this so what will happen it will take data from seat one so first it will activate seat one you can see right now it worked fine and you can see now it has taken data from seat one and it has written to the seat two seat and that transpose successfully completed now i want to transpose from row to column now so we have this data so i am, I am going to take data from here from this seat two and now I want to write on seat 3 or I, I want to write on a 8 column. So now I am going to show you on the same seat, right? I am not going to use different. So in this scenario, what you need to do? You need to activate seat 2 because we have data on seat 2 and then again seat 2 dot use range dot select selection copy. Now instead of activate, you can delete this, this is not required or like you can comment out this. So this will not be executed. So we are already on C2, so there is no need to activate. And then C2 dot range, so range will be our now uh, A8. So we will write here A8. Save this and now we can save this excel file also and run this so you can see here now it has taken data from here that is in the row and it has transposed to the column it means now row to column and here we have done column to row so by this way you can transpose vice versa from column to row and row to column so it's very easy to transpose that instead of writing uh, writing multiple logic in your ui path studio so i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching this video and please share this video with your friends so that they can also learn this one if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you